Art in the Time of COVID. This was the title of Signal Hill Secondary School's third installment of their virtual art exhibition. 20 students, including Forms 5 and 6 and past students, worked together to host this uniquely orchestrated event. Carissia Douglas tells us more in this week's I Love Tobago feature. A simple classroom transformed into an art gallery was the scene at the Signal Hill Secondary School. Paintings, sketches, handcrafted articles, and even furniture were on display, all created by Tobago's young and talented artists. The majority of pieces were produced for the students' examinations. Odin Williams' presentation was focused on freedom. His piece of attraction, a life-size painting. Some people may be familiar with what is known as the Middle Passage. That is when slaves were transported to the Caribbean from Africa and a lot of them jumped ship to escape what would, what would meet them at the end of the, the journey and stuff. Not only is 18-year-old Odin skilled at painting, but he's also a leather craftsman. He had the opportunity to be trained by internationally known leather designer Tobagonian Ted Arthur and his wife Edith Arthur days before her sudden passing. Jelon Trim is also diverse in his artistic abilities. His theme, identity. Jelon not only created drawings, but also t-shirt prints and even household items. Basically what I did was I took PVC pipe and I melted it and reshaped it to change the identity of the object. So this is my applied arts piece. It's, a, it's entitled Old Into the New. I, I actually used an old chair and dismantled it and then after upcycled it to make it into a new chair to, to suit two different types of mood, basically relax and to be attentive. And aspiring animator Tabeel Arthur took a unique slant with her theme branding. She too is not only skilled at creating animations digitally, but also produced creative pieces after receiving some training in woodwork and welding. I would have created a comic um, inspired by a life here at Signal Hill with a little bit of a fanta fantastical twist. And really my goal was to rebrand how we view reading. So um, I wanted to use comics as a way to encourage people to read and also to encourage people to appreciate Creole as a language. If you missed the virtual art exhibition, don't worry. Simply check out Signal Hill Secondary School social media pages for the YouTube link and you just may find a piece that catches your eye. I am Carissa Douglas for TTT News and I love Tobago.